sound of now. 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 Nile FM Aware. That's absolutely correct. And with me in the studio tonight is Inji Ruslen, the founder of Harass Map. You don't want to miss this. Inji, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Adam. Um, I mean, um, I hope uh, I hope the drive over here was pretty good. I am just desperate to ask you about. I know what Harass Map is, but I know that a lot of people don't know what Harass Map is. What exactly is Harass Map? Harass Map is a volunteer-led initiative that me and four of my friends started back in 2010. It took us a year to prepare, and we launched it in December 2010. Basically, um, it's an initiative that's full of volunteers who wanted to come together and discuss the issue of sexual harassment and tackle it seriously and take the discussion to the street. Very interesting, but w- what brought the idea in your mind? And like, why? First of all, why sexual harassment? And number two, how did Harass Map as an idea come to be? Harassment, because we're girls. And all of us, four of us, um, were in a way or another interested working in the issue of sexual harassment or women's rights from before. Um, when we came together to think of idea of harass map, we thought we want to do something that we can use social media and we can use engage people more. Most of the campaigns that were attacking the issue of sexual harassment were usually done in you know closed offices or in hotels, discussing the issue really away from people. We wanted to engage people who suffer from the problem and whom by their silence are becoming part of it. So we, we really wanted to engage everyone. I want to know exactly what is Harass Map as, like, you know, you mentioned it was a website, you, you mentioned you wanted to engage people, especially through social media. Mm-hmm. How how do I, as a user, like a boy or a girl, get engaged with Harass Map? Harass Map works in two levels. We have online and offline. Online, we have the map, which, you know, the name, Harass Map. In Arabic, we call it Imsik Mutahadish, or Catch a Harasser in English. We basically urge girls and encourage girls in Egypt to report sexual harassment as it happens in the street, telling us everything thing they can, where it happens, how it happens, what exactly happened, what category of sexual harassment she faced. We collect these information, they're user-generated information, open source for everyone. Anyone can use these stories, but they're anonymous, so we're giving girls safety and a space to tell us their stories and break the silence. So this happens online. When the girl reports to our number, um, she gets a reply message referring her to already existing services like legal counseling, psychological help, um, that... NGOs offer it for free. So that's what happens online. Offline, we have groups of volunteers that go monthly outside to the street and raise awareness in different communities and different neighborhoods. Not only in Cairo, but we have groups of volunteers in Alexandria and Mansoura and Minya and Port Said and other cities. Really cool. And, and like, you know, normal people could just like, you know, send you an email and say, hey, I want to be a part of this initiative. And then you just bring them on board and, and they do this, right? Yeah, that was the goal, actually, to involve people from, you know, just Egyptians. Egyptians who really want to end this phenomenon, this problem problem, this, um, you know, issue that we face every day. We wanted to engage everyone. We believed everyone can be part of the solution. So when we get volunteers, we give them an orientation, kind of a training of what to talk, what to say in the street. And you know what? Because they go out in their neighborhoods. They don't go out in different areas. They go to the street and say, I live in this street and I want this street to be safe. And we have groups of volunteers. It's men and, men and women and boys and girls. So it's not only men going out to talk about the issue or women only. I've heard this argument so many times that we don't have sexual harassment laws. Is that true? No, we do have a law against sexual harassment in Egypt but as any legal text um, anywhere there is problems with the text but still a lot of people got convicted on basis of that a lot of harassers were taken to court on basis of that law so we do have a law the problem does not lie now in only having a law not having a law or the how the law is but of actual implementation of the law we might have the best text in the world but still there is a lack of awareness in terms of few very few girls take it to police station and very few girls actually are able to catch their harassers to take them to police station so there's a lot of awareness that we need um, in terms of the girls themselves and the police. What do you say to people that say, well, you know what, um, forget the police, forget the government, forget the law. It's the woman's fault anyways, because I mean, look at how she's dressed. What do you say to that? This is classic, because it happens all over the world, and it happens everywhere. Women are always blamed, and become, and you know, they're the victims, but for some, somehow they become the predators. They they're themselves are the ones blamed for sometimes even rape. Um, well, to them, I say, there is a lot of talk that we need to do, and this is what we try to do now with awareness, because we go to the street and tackle this exact point. No, it's not her. It's it's a crime 
and this is a crime. Any person in Egypt, any male or female, are entitled to walk safely in the streets. So there is a lack of awareness that we try to tackle through discussion more because we believe in, in really opening a discussion about these things. There's a lot of taboos in our society that we really need to address, but we need to have a friendly conversation talk, tackling them and talking about them. Absolutely, couldn't agree with you more. I always think about it like, you know, a girl can walk around as much as she wants and a guy can walk around. If a guy in Egypt can walk around like you know, with a very, very big kirsch and still wear a sleeveless, skin-tight shirt on, 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 his, on his belly, yeah. that doesn't give me the right to go pinch it, really. Right. <laughs> Angie, I mean, I, I guess maybe I, I, maybe this took me a little while to, to get to, but I guess the predominant question is, why does this happen in Egypt and not some other countries? I mean, like, you know, Europe, Europe, for example, or the US or any other country that where women dress in a lot more revealing fashion than here. Why does it, why is it such a, like, you know, epidemic here in Egypt? Well, A, because it has nothing to do with how we dress. B, it happens everywhere, but it happens with different levels. So in Egypt, we have it a bit um, intense than other countries. Other countries also suffer from it. It goes up and down. I, I personally believe that any country that goes through intense economic problems, crime rate increases, violence increases. And I think we notice that. We, we're, we keep noticing the rise of violence in general in Egypt. And sexual harass harassment is a form of violence against women and violence against the society. So I think there, there are a lot of reasons we can talk from now to tomorrow about why and, you know, you know, just think about it. But we really, really encourage sociologists and researchers to take this issue seriously and try discussing it and researching it. We In Egypt, we have a problem with data and and, and information and numbers and statistics we really need more information and scientific information that can help us move forward what are your future plans what what is the next step for harass map well when harass map started with four people in 2010 it grew so much that now we have over 300 volunteer and 300 volunteer wow. that yeah and and that for us is a success in itself because when four people believed you know that this is an issue that we need to tackle now we have 300 people or more that believes that something should happen about this issue so we we are continuing to raise awareness we're continuing to have groups of volunteers that does community outreach that goes out to the streets and talk to people and try to raise awareness and create safe zones in the street in their neighborhoods and we're also thinking we're also hoping that in the future we tackle issues like public transportation safety um, schools one of the issues that we want to work on and with is schools in the future so we're hoping we could do that too yeah hopefully catch catch them when they're very young and give them that kind of awareness instead of waiting until they're grown up and this has become some form of a habit yeah. and then tackle it. very 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 cool you know what I wish you the best of of luck I wish you all all the best luck in the world this is definitely an issue that needs to have support be put behind it and of course if you want to get in touch with harass map all you have to do is just email me I'll put you in touch with them just email the, the show at aware at Nile radio productions.net that's aware at Nile radio productions.net Inji it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show thank you very much for coming in thank you Adam my pleasure and uh, this is I mean like you know I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on the progress of, of, of harass map and I, I'm really really keen on having you back on the show to discuss um, like you know those future plans and how they panned out definitely thanks thank you very much and of course if you're one of the people that is engaged in an NGO a social development program something that is doing positive impact in Cairo and in Egypt all you have to do is just let me know about it email aware at nileradioproductions.net I'll get in touch with you we'll have you on the show to discuss what your organization is doing to help give back to our community that's it for me and I'll catch you next Saturday 7pm right here on Nile FM Aware have a great evening.